Hi everybody, I'm Joyce Van Dersen and I'm the Executive Director of the Kidney Foundation of Canada here in Southern Alberta and also for the Saskatchewan branch. So welcome to Day Zero of uh, Kidney March 2021. It's, it's great to have you all with us on this day. We've been counting the minutes. Uh, first, let me start by thanking you for everything that you've already done. You've taken a giant leap of faith. You made a huge commitment when you registered for Kidney March. It would have been real easy to just stay home on the couch and think about it, but you said yes. So thank you for the training, the fundraising, the many, many, many kilometers that you've already walked. We couldn't appreciate it more. Welcome back to our Kidney March family. Thank you for stepping in here with us again. And to all the new people who are doing it for the first time this year, we're thrilled to have you with us. You know, when we created Kidney March and we launched it in 2010, gosh, that long ago already, we created it because we wanted to put kidney disease and organ donation on the map in a really big way. We had to. We wanted to galvanize the kidney community like never before. And together we wanted to raise historic amounts of money to fund kidney related research, prevention initiatives and programs. And we needed to do that because we, we are determined to make change on a huge scale. So thank you for joining us in doing that. You know, it's been challenging this year. We've made plans, we've changed them. We've had plan A, B, C, D, lots of curveballs this year. And we've all had to adapt. And you know, Kidney March from the very beginning has been what you make of it, what we make of it together. And this year has been no different. You know, together we join forces, we rise up, and we deliver. And that's what you've done. That's what you've already done this year. We march no matter what, and we can't thank you enough. We committed to Kidney March again this year, and so did you. People are depending on us. Tomorrow, we begin the final leg of Kidney March this year, the final three days. Can you believe it? It's here already. We're going to start with the opening ceremony, and you definitely won't want to miss that. You know, the schedule for each of the three days and details on how to tune in each of those days and for each of the things we're going to be doing over these next three, next three days are in this awesome Kidney March box that you received. Aren't these fabulous? I couldn't believe it when I saw them this year. Very exciting. So now you get to open that box tomorrow morning and open your day one box that is inside of this. Every day, you'll open the specific box that relates to that day. Now try your best not to cheat. Open them only on the day that it says to. Check out the schedule or the agenda that's inside your box. It will have all the details of what is happening, when, details of how to join us. So uh, make sure you have a good look at that and don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. So tomorrow's Friday, so you wanna set up your camp on Friday. Have fun with it, whether you're going to set something up in the, your living room, make a little fort in there, or set something up in your backyard. Have fun with it, get in the spirit of it, of Kidney March, and uh, you'll be surprised what uh, you'll see others doing, and just join in, just be creative, have fun. Uh, definitely keep an eye on the Kidney March website, kidneymarch.ca. Make sure you're following Kidney March on all of the social media so you're keeping up with anything that's happening, any little surprises along the way. Hear from your fellow marchers. You know, let's keep in touch with, with each other over the weekend. Over these three days, we're going to be walking with marchers literally from coast to coast. Isn't that exciting? Marchers joining us from the Yukon. We're welcoming back great teams from Saskatchewan and BC, Team SAS and Team Because You Can. We're excited about that. All of you have done such a great job in building your teams and being creative, having fun, figuring things out all along the way and making Kidney March fun. Now, you're aiming to walk 10 kilometers each of these next three days. 
use the Strava app or any other device that you have to track your progress in the number of kilometers you're doing and share your progress with all of us. That's the fun of Kidney March. We're a family, we're a community. We wanna hear how you're doing and I know you'll wanna hear from others as well. No matter where you're walking, be safe. It's my pleasure to introduce Cashton Ferguson and Cashton has some great Kidney March tips for you from his own experience and his family's experience with Kidney March. So here's Cashton. Hi, I'm Cashton, and this is Cashton's fun tips for Kidney March. My dad and I both have polycystic kidney disease. My dad had a transplant already, and I'll most likely need one too. If we continue to raise money for research, Maybe I won't need one. Last year, I got to March due to COVID. I love the amount of people that came out to support me, especially my teachers. I found the best way to get my support was to always talk about the Kidney March, talk about why you're involved in the March, use social media and post about how far you've walked. Don't forget to share pictures of where you've walked and always attach your personal Kidney March link so people can donate. Walk in your community and wear as much Kidney March swag as you can. When you go on vacation, do the same thing. Walk where it's beautiful. I walked around Spray Lakes near Canmore. Walk where people will ask you questions about your Kidney March swag. Don't forget to wear your tracking device so you can keep track on how many kilometers you've done. Find a good place to walk and tell someone where you're walking. Hey Dad, I'm gonna go walk around the park. Okay. Be alert, stay safe, walk on the pathways, not on the highways. Watch your feet for blisters. Use moleskin. Wear a hat, bring some sunscreen. Prepare for any kind of weather. Ah! Don't overheat. Wear layers. And don't forget to hydrate. Drink lots of water. And don't forget to set up your at-home camp. Try to end the walk somewhere fun and celebrate with each other. Don't forget to let the Kidney March crew know where and when you are walking so they can cheer you on and celebrate all you have accomplished. Most importantly, walk with pride, have fun, and I'm proud of you. Follow the instructions in your packages and uh, read all those email messages sent out from our Kidney March support team. They're there to support you every step of the way and make sure that you're prepared and that you have all the information you need. You know, nothing is more important to us than your health and safety. It's been that way from day one in Kidney March and that doesn't change this year. You want to avoid heat stroke dehydration. You want to take care of your feet. That's, uh, that's the most important thing as you're going along these last three days. You want to prevent blisters. We've given you some information on that. The key is listen to your body and don't push yourself into a danger zone. You know, we're going virtual with Kidney March again this year, and we're doing that because we want to keep you safe. Your health, your safety is so important to us. And you know, we're in a, we're still in a pandemic and the protocols, the safety protocols for that are varying across the country. So we really cannot all be together face to face the way we would like to, the way we so look forward to. So this year we're going virtual again. Again, as we said from the beginning, we march no matter what, and that's what we're doing. So yes, we can't be together, but we're marching from wherever you are, from one coast to another, across the prairies, Ontario. I think we've got one marcher from Quebec. So be safe, follow those uh, COVID safety protocols wherever you are. Uh, the safety of our kidney community, of our kidney patients and their families is so important to us. We can't take any risks, so that's why we're going virtual this year. And a final reminder to send in your videos and photos. Don't be shy, be creative when you're out there walking these next three days. Send them in every day along the way, post them on our Kidney March site. We're going to be building our Kidney March 2021 video from your photos and your video clips. Let's make it awesome. That's really up to you this year. 
Tell us where you're marching. Let us know if you've got a specific route in mind and we'll be cheering you on. Email our team with your plans. If you know what they are now, send them in today on day zero. You never know, some of our cheer crew might turn up along your route to cheer you on. Some of your friends and family might. Let's make this fun. That it really goes a long way on these uh, long walks each of these days these three days, final three days of Kidney March, is really one of your best times to fundraise. You share what you're doing this weekend and why you're doing it, walking all these kilometers, committing to raise these funds. Send messages, post on your own social media with a link to your fundraising page. People do want to support you, so make it easy for them. You know, some people have already donated to you, some meant to, and they forgot about it. But now the final weekend is here. Make it really easy for people to contribute. We are cheering you on every inch of the way over these last three days, and we really mean that. Your friends, your family, they're cheering you on too. They're excited for you, they're proud of you. Don't forget to tune in to the events on the agenda in your packages. Don't lose track of those. Of course, starting with the opening cer ceremony tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Mountain Time. So check that out. That's the beginning of the kickoff of these three days. Don't miss it. Have a fantastic three days.